YouTube, it's your boy Coyote Mike. Welcome back to the channel. So those of you who are just joining us for the first time, let me give you a rundown of what we got going on. Been having this ticking noise going on with the 2012 F-150 5.0. So uh, took it to several different uh, mechanic shops, getting diagnosis, spending money, dropping money. They tell me it's a blown head gasket, which is fine. You know, but I'm asking them to show me what's going on or money. show me the actual blown gasket. I wanted them to remove the head and do all that stuff. Therefore, I wouldn't have to do it. But nonetheless, nobody could tell me exactly what was going on or show me the gasket. It did uh, the uh, pressure test, um, all of that stuff, and they couldn't tell me what cylinders wasn't holding the pressure. Oh, uh, hell no. So here oh, we are, oh, you know, a couple of days later. And uh, I'm actually doing this job myself. So yes, that's what's isn't up. as difficult as I thought it was going to be, but um, it is pretty difficult. Um, so we managed yesterday to pull off the uh, cylinder head and that actually looked pretty good. So today we're going to be tackling the uh, driver's side cylinder head, see what's going on with that. And I'll show you guys here in a, me in a minute, the uh, passenger side, uh, what's going on with that. But looks flawless to me. And... Um, you know, we probably send it off to the machine shop, get it cleaned up, and uh, see if we got to get it machined. But nonetheless, man, we're going to be taking out the uh, driver's side uh, cylinder head today. So um, let's get started. All right, guys. So here we go. This is the uh, passenger side uh, head right here. So these are all the valves. Everything looks to be seated correctly. No damage to them whatsoever. So everything looks... Pretty dang good. Just got to clean it up <clears throat> and um, see uh, what we can do. So this is the uh, passenger side. So we're going to be cleaning all this up once we get out the uh, driver's side. Um, was thinking about just replacing the uh, whole block here, but um, the whole head. But um, I don't think we're going to be doing that. Got all the uh, rocker arms, roller followers right here. So just got everything kind of over here organized. This is the uh, gasket that was actually on here, right here. So there we go, right there. Do you see a little bit of crud in here? But I mean, it may be blown, but um, I'm not seeing any visual. Um, any uh anything extreme or out of the ordinary to be concerned with but um i'm seeing a little bit of crud up here and stuff but um you know we're gonna pull off the uh, driver's side and go from there got the timing chain here but uh we're not soaking in oil because all of these are going to be replaced now the uh tensioner right here this is pretty easy to compress especially this one up here And it shouldn't be that easy. Here go the cams right here. So this is the passenger side. This is the driver's side. Got the uh, phasers up there, down here. Here are the headers. But uh, we're going to be replacing these cams again as well too. Just makes sense. We got them out. We might as well throw some new ones in and start again fresh. So here goes the um, the little bolt pattern for the uh, timing cover. Made this just so I know exactly where everything goes. All right, yeah, so sorry about that. So these are the passenger side cams. These are the driver side cams. We got the phasers. Um, we're thinking about um, locking these out, but I'm not sure yet what, what route we're exactly gonna go. Got the little shorty headers. Probably gonna be changing these out too to uh, uh, long tube headers. And then we're probably probably gonna be deleting the uh, the cats. So not sure yet which route we're gonna go, but we are gonna go a route that's for sure. So uh, let's get started on dropping this um, dropping this exhaust on the driver's side and pulling out that driver's side head. All right, so these are the two bolts I'm gonna be removing right here, right above the uh, the center right here. Got one there. Then we got one here. 
So we're going to be taking both of these off and I'm going to pull the head out uh, with the uh, header on it. Alright, just for shits and giggles, we're going to be removing this whole compartment right here so we can get down to this head right here. So I'm going to start taking this off, removing that, just so I have more space. Alright you guys, so here you go. This is the outcome of the uh, driver's side um, cylinder head. So, gasket's fine, everything's good over here. A little bit of corrosion, but uh, I think we're still pretty good over here, but valves still look good. But uh, let me show you guys inside of the uh, cylinders up here. So, let me put some light on. Where are we at? See if you guys can see that a little bit better with the light. So let me zoom in. So there we go right there. So a little bit of rust on them. But this cylinder right here, number seven, is very concerning right there. So that's definitely not good. All those lines going down so that's definitely like not good so you can see some corrosion right there between seven and eight where possibly some flu was going but I'm not showing any signs on the gasket whatsoever but um yeah so definitely not good I'm not even sure if I want to send this out to get rebuilt or just swap it out but um not quite sure yet which road I'm going to go, but it's definitely not the end. All right, so here go the phasers and the cams again. So uh, good news is we are going to be doing a Coyote swap. So I'm going to be switching out from the 2012 uh, Gen 1 Coyote to a 2014 Gen 1 Mustang Coyote, so it's gonna have the cams and all that stuff in there and I do realize I'm gonna lose some low-end torque But uh, if you guys comment down below what you guys think about that. We're gonna be going from a gen 1 uh, F-150 Coyote engine and an F-150 to a gen 1 2014 Mustang GT Coyote engine so you guys uh, Comment down below what you guys think about that if y'all want to see that swap so uh, we're actually going to be headed out of town tomorrow. We're going to go pick up the motor. So we should be up and running by next week sometime. So you guys comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about that swap. If that's something you guys want to see. But nonetheless, we are going to be replacing the motor. I don't think I'm going to have it rebuilt. Although I think when I drop in the new Mustang motor, I'm going to keep this motor here. I'm going to rebuild it over time. Build it to the way I want. Maybe throw some twin turbos on there or something like that. I am not sure, but you guys comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned because tomorrow we're going to be picking up the 2014 GT Mustang Gen 1 Coyote 5.0 engine. So be sure to subscribe to the channel, tune in, and don't forget to smash that like button. It really helps your boy out. Until next time, it's your boy, Coyote Mike.